Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. On today's video, I have got a fast and easy way to download pretty much any app that's on your Android phone or Android tablet and send it directly to your Fire TV or Fire Stick. We're going to use an app called Easy Fire Tools and I'm going to show you how to use it coming up next. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. And this is what the Easy Fire Tools icon looks like. And we're going to go ahead and head over to the Google Play Store and download it there. And it's 100% free. So let's do that right now. So just go ahead to the Google Play Store and just simply type in Easy Fire Tools. And I'll put this in the description as well. It'll be the very first one that pops up. Click that. And then click Install. And so we'll just give it a few seconds to download. It's usually really quick. But again, that's what the icon looks like. And now it's done, so click Open. And as soon as it opens up, it's going to present you with this message right here. Click Agree. All right, so then it's going to show you all of your apps that you currently have on your particular Android phone or Android tablet. So the first thing you need to make sure is to make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi network as your Fire TV and Fire Stick. Otherwise, they will not find each other. So what we want to do, if you look in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see the little box or cell phone with the Wi-Fi signal over it. Go ahead and click that icon. Once you click that icon, it's going to search your network or your household for any Fire TV sticks. And as long as they're on the same network, it will find them and then it will populate them just like it did just now. All right, so I currently have two Fire devices in my household that's on the same Wi-Fi network. And so what we want to do is we want to click whatever one that we want to actually send the apps to. So I'm going to choose the very first one. Okay, so now it's going to give you this message, and this is basically establishing your IP address as well as your device. So just simply click yes. And if you notice other apps, you have to actually manually type in the IP address. This one automatically finds it, and you just simply have to click OK. That's another reason why I like this app, because it's a lot easier to use. Okay, so basically, once you have that established, now all you need to do is just go find whatever app you want to add to your Fire Stick. So I'm going to choose this one right here that says Apollo TV. And remember, guys, this is only an initial setup. Whenever we want to come and do this in the future to add different apps, we're not going to have to go through this whole process because we've already established the connection and the setup of the IP address. This is only an initial setup, all right? So I don't want you to think you have to do all of that every single time. So once you find whatever app you want, go ahead and click it, and it's going to give you this message, no Fire TV connection. That's okay. All you need to do is click the plugs in the top right-hand corner, this little icon, click that, and then it's going to pop this message up that says authorization required. The current device is not authorized to connect to your configured Fire TV. An authorization request has been sent to the Fire TV. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the phone. We're going to go ahead and go to the Fire TV. I'm going to show you that message. I'm going to show you two things that we actually need to do real quick. And then we'll come right back to the phone. I'm on my Fire TV stick right now and what's going to happen is, is when you get that message on your phone that says authorization required, if you go to the Fire Stick, this is what's going to pop up. It's going to say allow USB debugging and all we need to do is go ahead and click in that little box, hit the enter button, that'll put a little check in it. Go ahead and click down and click the enter button again, click OK and this way you will not have to see that again. So go ahead and click OK. And now what we want to do is we want to go all the way over to our settings, scroll down, and we want to just do two things. We want to go over to where it says My Fire TV. Yours might say uh, Device. So click the Enter button or the Center button on your remote. Go down to where it says Developer Options and click that. And we want to make sure ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources are both turned on. If for some reason it says Off, that's okay, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and click the Enter button. It's gonna pull up this screen, click the Enter button again, it'll turn it on. Now you've got both of these turned on, click the Home button, 
and you are all set. Now you are ready to cast or share the apps from your phone or your tablet. All right, and so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go all the way over, and we're gonna go to see all of the apps. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and I want you to see that I do not currently have Apollo TV or Media Box HD. Okay, there is no Media Box and there's no Apollo TV. So we're gonna go ahead and side load those from my Android phone to the Fire Stick. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna head back over to the phone. Okay, so I am back to the phone and what we're gonna do is we are gonna find the app that you wanna move over to the Fire Stick. I see it right there. There's the first app we're gonna do, Apollo TV. And if you click it, it says no Fire TV connection. So all we need to do is click the plugs. Click the plugs in the top right hand corner. That will establish the connection. It says connect it to Fire Stick. That's what we want. Now go ahead and click the app and it says install the app Apollo TV we want to click yes and it's gonna just go ahead and install it right there and then after this I will show you as it loads to the fire stick we'll do this one and then we'll do one more app and as this is downloading just keep in mind this is just for demonstration purposes uh, just because you can move the app from your phone to your uh, fire stick doesn't mean it's gonna be optimized for your fire stick uh, so make sure whatever app you're moving to the Fire Stick is going to work and optimize for Fire Stick. All right, that one is done. And now let's go ahead and move down to the second app. And we're going to do MediaBox HD. This app is actually optimized and works very well on a Fire Stick. Um, so if you just simply click it, it says install the app. We want to click yes. And that's it. That's how easy this is. So going forward, this is pretty much all you'll have to do. Just find the app you want, click install. We'll make sure this is done and then I'll show you how it loads on the Fire Stick. All right, it's just about done and it says operation successful. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to finally head back to the fire stick and I will show you as it loads to finish this off. Okay, so I am back on the fire stick and I am just going to click yes to side load and as it's installing on the phone, it's going to go ahead and start loading on the fire stick fire TV. So if you just look on the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see in just a second where it says Apollo TV ready to launch and it's actually installing right now all right there you go there's the first one you can see it in the bottom right hand corner and then you'll actually see the icon pop up in just a second and so now what we'll do is we will go ahead and do the second one media box HD and let that one download as well All right, so Media Box should be coming. If you look to the bottom right, Media Box HD should pop up any second now. It's just about done. There it is, right in the bottom right hand corner. And then we should see there it is the icon. And those are the two apps that we just side loaded. That's how easy it is. One quick little tip if you have any problems. Um, when you're actually connecting all you need to do is hit the home button and go all the way over to settings and then go back into my fire TV or um, device and then just toggle down to developer options and just toggle A to B debugging on or off if you do that a couple times that will help secure the connection so I had to do that one time um, and so I just wanted to point that out I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed the content if so give me a thumbs up like and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for joining me today I will see you next time on streaming tech now